if you really knew me, you'd know that I'm pretty severely colorblind. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mm. Obviously, it doesn't I'm mean that so I just see open. black and gray. My parents thought I just was dumb. I didn't know colors because I would just call something like a color that it wasn't. And for a large part of my career, I was working monochromatically because mm. I was insecure about it. So I would work in black and gray or in, in tones of blue. Like I was you know, stuck in Picasso's blue period. I feel like it's a blessing for me. What people see in my work is very different from what I see in it. I have to use pretty drastic color changes to be able to see a subtle color. If you're looking at a color wheel, maybe you'll see orange, orange, yellow, orange, orange, yellow, and I'll just see orange, right? So all that's just blended into one shade. So I have to be a little bit more extreme in my color changes to be able to see a subtle difference in tone. So what I see in the finished product is, is like kind of not too intense, but I always get these compliments on the colors. And early on, I would take photos of the work and then go to Photoshop and switch to black and gray to be able to see some of the color changes. And then now I'm able to just lean 